Hello, 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 and welcome to Woman to Woman with Lady Aisha Fisher. I am so honored and excited to have you join me on today. Listen, if you haven't done so already, I invite you to come on in the room. Join our Facebook group um, where you will receive real talk, real truth, real love, real wisdom, real help, and real transformation. I also invite you to join us on YouTube. Go ahead and like and subscribe, like and subscribe so you can stay connected to all God is doing through woman to woman uh, to help you with your holistic self care. Amen. Now let's dive on into what you came for today. All right, all right, all right. Decent, decent, decent. That was a cheer I used to do back in my high school days. But what we got going on today is not decent. It is out of order. Out of order. Amen. And so let's go ahead. We have some tea uh, to consume on today. We have some tea. We have some tea. Turning errors around. Another opportunity to learn from someone else's mistakes and um, be real with ourselves and see if we are doing, making the same errors and turn those errors around. Amen. Amen. So what we got going on here, you see it on the screen. We have Jamila Gooden. Um, and she said, the show did face. This is what she posted. The show, she said, I show did right i sure did now what's going on why what did she show enough do <laughs> here we go let's back up a little bit so about three months ago it is it is march so back in december of 2023 um, I made this video here. Um, if you have not seen it, go back and watch it. It's on the page under the playlist T, T-E-A. It's under the playlist. So go back and watch it. Um, I do a thorough teaching there, um, scriptures and all. I'm not going to do that with this one because I have I have a guest coming um, at the end that's going to help a sister out. Amen. Um, but I did a thorough teaching on... Um, uh, her cussing, <laughs> the pastor cussing, right? I did a full teaching on that in the last video. So make sure you go back and watch that and learn from it and turn that air around. Amen. But here's the thing after that, you know, I gave, I, I encourage y'all to pray for her and all gave you scriptures you can look into. Um, but after that, I seen this post and I actually screenshot it when I seen it about, uh, over a month or maybe it was over a month ago, but at least a month ago, right? And read it, right? It says, there's a lip, there's a man here saying, keep it in, right? And on the other side, and, and this man that's keeping it in, he, he he's in a dark place. He's in a sad place. But the man on the other side, it says he cussed them out. He cussed them bleep bleep out. And he's just as happy as can be. And if you see the caption up there, it says, and did, explanation part. So what she's saying, I did. I cussed them blank, blank out. And now she's all good, right? And I seen that and I wanted to make a video so bad, but I just was not led to. I just screenshot it and I kept it in there, um, kept it back, you know, just tucked away until God gave me instructions um, to pull it out. And the time has come, right? And if you look at the bottom, Hold on. Let me take this off for a minute because I want y'all to see. Can you see there? It says 1.9K. So 1.9K, and this was over a month ago, so I'm sure it's far beyond that. But up until that point, 1.9K, an hour after she posted it, it says an hour at the top. So she posted this and within one hour of posting it, it says 1.9K. People either laughed at it, they thought it was funny, they thought it was hilarious, they thought it was a joke, or they gave it the thumbs up, they liked it, they were in agreement with it, they were okay with it, or they loved it. They loved it. 1.9 thousand people 
in a one hour span. This is a problem, people of God. This is a problem, people of God. And it's also uh, an indicator of how people are watching you. And, and you are you are leading people, whether you want to or not, and you don't want you 1.9 thousand people. That's that's a lot of people to be accountable accountable um, to God for when you, when you when you come before Him and gotta and gotta give and gotta give an account for how your actions affected other people and how your actions had an impact on other people. Do you think God is placed with pleased with this? Cuss them blank blank out. Cuss them the cuss word out. 1.9 people, I would be, I would be, I would be terrified to stand before God and, and even open my mouth to even try to explain that. But you know, that's me. So let's move on. Let's see what's next. Okay. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's going on. So this is the video of what took place on Sunday. <laughs> it is today is the 14th. It is um, I think it's Wednesday. Where's my clock? Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. So this happened two days ago. Now, 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 now you see, because there was no remorse for the first video that I did. And you know, I don't, who, that was just the first encounter I had of this conduct. Clearly it was going on way before this, the, the, the original video that I posted three months because the escalation the escalate the the boldness in that but also the escalation that was just a conversation that she was having in her own private re residence nonetheless it was on social media but it was in her own residence okay so now look at the scene she she's dressed up right and she is in what is supposed to be a house of worship what is supposed to be um a pulpit uh consecrated unto god so do you see the elevation? Because there was no remorse when she was in her own comfortable private residence, because there was no remorse, because there was mocking of the behavior, because there was agreement with the behavior, now there has been an escalation. Now there's a comfortable comfort level to say, I'm going to do this in the house of what's supposed to be God. Because I, I don't, I, 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 I can't say that it is the house of God because that's not... That's that's not what the house of God is for. If you haven't listened, okay. So this is the video. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna just play this little part, and we gon we gonna work on through this tea. All right, we are gonna swallow down this tea. We are gonna consume this tea, and we gon we gonna do better. Here we go. This woman says she's a prophetess, and she got a word from my husband. I said, no, you ain't got a word for him. You got a word for us. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Natasha Davis. Do you see her posture? Do you see? She just called out this, 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 this prophetess. She, she addressed her as a prophetess, called out her name, right? And, and do you see her posture? Check out the posture. Our body language is telling our body language is telling we ladies, we women, we know it. You know it, right? I told you I'm not your typical first lady. This first lady fight. And if I catch you in the street, I warned you. I warned Is that, is that, is that, <laughs> is that becoming? Oh my goodness. Not even becoming of a Christian. When we was in the old Baptist church, we had these, the, you know, this the, these bylaws that talked about um, behavior that was becoming of a Christian. Is this behavior not even outside of a Christian? I mean, that's that's basic. Listen, I said in the last video, this is a whole nother level. You're beyond in the pew. <laughs> you are beyond in the pew at this point, right? Would you would you want? the lady of the house the leading lady of your sanctuary <laughs> of your church to behave like this i hope not I, I pray not and i pray for those that are okay with it because clearly there are people who are but i'm i'm just signed i'm sounding the alarm that is my job 
to sound the alarm and to hopefully bring clarity on why this is not okay. You. I'm a Brooklyn chick. That'll never change. I'm just an anointed Brooklyn chick, and I'm coming for that ass. Seriously? You heard it. You heard it right. You heard it right. Speechless. Speechless. But this is... Th Lord Jesus. No, no, no. I laid it down, right? I laid it down. And so y'all, okay. I know I'm going to be in trouble. I know I'm going to Cleveland. But I had to protect my household. I don't play with my husband. So, so, so... Do you hear the claps? Do you hear the come ons? Do you hear the the the, the encouragement of this behavior? Oh, Lord Jesus. You can't say I did. I, you, this brother in the back. What's up, son? How you doing? He stood up. He's like, yeah, I like her. She said, he did. You see the realness in me? Now I'm real all day. The only thing fake is my weave and my hair. And I'm still good, bald headed. Do you see the posture, the attitude? Is this godly or is this street or is this hood? <laughs> ah. Is this godly? Is this how God is supposed to be represented? We are representatives of God, ambassadors of God. Is this how we are supposed to represent him? Come on. Jesus. Right? So her desecration, her desecrate, desecration, to desecrate, to desecrate means to greatly disrespect not just disrespect this is disrespect on a whole nother level to greatly disrespect a sacred place or a sacred thing that is what desecrate means desecration so she is now desecrating the what is supposed to be house of god she is desecrating the pulpit she is desecrating the office of a pastor she is desecrating the offers of a prophet or prophetess she is desecrating the, the 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 position of the leading lady of the house desecration desecration right and it continues i i've just chopped this up like this was a long video and i chopped it up right so after that she 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 she, she says she gave it to god right and then she started praying for people laying them impure hands not clean hands on people i would be scared i'm too scared i reverence god too much i would not dare it says we are to have clean hands and a pure heart this is that's not what's being dis displayed here but after that she prayed for people and what is even more sad and scary and and and, and, and so heart-wrenching is people allowed it Ooh. Jesus. People people thought that this behavior was 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 an anointing and they were okay with her putting her in her unclean hands on them and and taking the same mouth. I talked about this in the last video that 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 blessing is going forth from and cursing coming from as well. My God. Y'all better, y'all better, y'all better get serious about this thing here. You, you, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful what you link up to. You have to be careful um, who you call your, your leaders and who you follow in person and on social media. There's a connection there, right? So after she, her, her desecration continues, after she said she gave it to God and she, fin and she finished praying for people. The saga continues. I got home. Okay. So I, I I'm gonna address what took place. She she's telling a story, 
right? And about where she went out of town. That's a whole nother issue. I'm trying, I want to focus on this one here, right? I want to focus on the cussing in this one. And after this one, we got another video. I have another video that's going to address what took place while she was not, while she was out of town, right? But let's, let's stick to this for now. We can only handle one thing at a time. My husband, I need y'all to help me. Point to Fred, Apostle Fred the Goodness, sir, and say that Jamela's husband. Point to the camera, say that. Now, 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 I just want to pause and note this. She just said he's an apostle. And do you see that he just laughed? He he think this is funny? This is a joke? I mean, you can't be surprised because they're yoked together. But I, I want to point that out because we're going to address that in the next video, all right? And I'm not going back to this scene. We're going we're gonna to be working on another scene. But she just said he is an apostle and he is laughing. He finds, he finds her behavior um, funny. Jamela's husband. Thank you. Now back to what I was trying to say. Oh, I know. I, I, I know. I'm gonna get in trouble, but I'm gonna walk hot. Oh yeah, I know y'all ain't gonna like me. I'm sorry, Joy Collins, the bishop. Oh, I got eyes on her. Oh, I, oh, I got eyes on you, baby. I, when I see you, I promise you, I'm going to make Larry read again. And this time, it's because you got the eye. No remorse. No remorse. Reprobate. There's a state. There's a state of being. Oh, my God. Everybody, but I'm for somebody. And y'all gotta learn how to protect your marriages. So I. Mm. That's that's not about protecting a marriage, but um, my guest is going to uh, address that, right? So her desecration continues after she says people reverence her. She goes on the spiel about you know people reverencing her. They think that she's anointed. Uh, yeah, the saga continues. And thank you. So, so wait. So, this week, I wasn't in a good headspace. I wasn't. I'm the type of person that the word of God said, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. But I said, sometimes, Jesus, you take a little long. Mm. God's timing is always perfect. On the last video, I talked about pride. When you become pride, you, you, so, so, so you think your judgment is better than God's now? Mm. That's a scary place to be. I need this heaven to get God right now. You going, we going, we going to Atlanta then. She said, I need this bleep to get got right now. And the people in the audience is saying, I'm with you. Do you see that? The blind. Now you getting other people caught up in your mess. Other people caught up in your <laughs> immaturity. Other people caught up in your foolishness. Listen, if you're not ready to be no leader, don't do it. You you have no, I, you got the account for the people you mess up along the way. My Jesus. Not, she's pulling people in. People in the audience are saying, I'm with you. I'm with you. We going to Atlanta. She going to get got. Because the next time she got a conference, all the unity and CCM going to sit up there. You can't impart nothing to nobody. You trying to break up a marriage. You proper liar, you. So I did some research on her. 
And she had a child that died. I said, I wonder why. Okay. Speechless. I, I Listen, y'all better pray for her. And you know what? And pray for her children. She says she has two children. I don't know what their what their ages are. I don't know if they're adults, but they're still her adult children. Now, this, this woman putting her mouth on other people's children. Y'all, y'all, y'all. She, I just said she pulling in her, her followers, but now she's entangling her children. Innocence, innocent people are being entangled, brought into, caught all up in, entwined in foolishness, mess, immaturity. And it's sad and it's dangerous and it's scary. Y'all need to pray for the people who are linked to her. And if you listening to this and you are linked to her, you need to, you need to unlink and unfollow and disassociate. All right, listen, that's a lot. That's a lot. And I don't even, you know, I came across this video here by Apostle Alicia Lindsay, and she did such an excellent job. I said, I'm going to just let her handle this one right here because I went all out in my last video. I, I, I mean, I gave you scripture for it. I gave you scripture for it, right? So some people, even in that, even in me giving them scripture for it, they weren't in agreement with what I said. It's not about me. It's about that. If you don't agree with what I said, I didn't say you weren't in agreement with me. You aren't in agreement with what I said. And what I said is the Bible. Then you're not in agreement with the Bible. And that's a whole deeper level problem, right? So, you know, let's see if, if, if apostle, <laughs> can help y'all out on this one because she did a thorough job. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. She did a thorough job. Um, I call her my guest, but this is just the, 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 the post that she made that addresses the issue, that addresses the error. Amen. And her encouragement and her, her wisdom. Um, and I, I encourage you to take heed. Lord, you know what? I just realized we did not pray opening this up. Father, I thank you. For you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you for your love and your kindness, your grace, and your mercy for loving us in spite of us, for fearfully and wonderfully creating us in your image to do great things for your kingdom. Father, I invite you to have your way in the in the in the ears and in the minds and in the hearts um, and in the spirits of those that are listening and watching this content, Father. Hallelujah. Do a work in their hearts and minds even now. Soften up the ground. Hallelujah. That they will be receptive to receive this warning, to heed this warning, to not discard this warning, to turn this error and their errors around and to pray for those to pray for those who are erroring. If it is not us who's erroring, we, and if we're in the body of Christ, we need to pray for those who are because we are all connected and it all affects all of us. This is the kingdom of God. So Father, just have your way. Open up their ears, soften up their hearts, God, that they can receive this word, this help, this encouragement, this advice, this wisdom, this warning. In Jesus' name, amen. How are you? Do me a favor and share this video right now. Tag any female preacher that you know. Tag them in this video. Tag them in the comments. Share it on their page. Share it in the inbox. Share this. All right. Hello, Leslie. Good afternoon. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, Pastor Lisa. I love your daughter. Hey, Evangelist Horn, love you so much, Prophetess. Love you, dear heart. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, Evangelist Eubanks. How you doing today? Yep, here we go. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. One of the things that I want us to understand is 
when you say the body of Christ, hey, Pastor Hill, love you, Prophet Hill. When you say the ecclesia, when you say uh, fivefold ministry, uh, when you say the church, it includes all of us that have said we are born again, that say that we are filled with the Holy Ghost, that say we are a prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, overseer, bishop, apostle, elder, minister, deacon, trustee, okay? Mothers in Zion, it includes all of us. So, when you act a fool, it affects all of us. They do not com com they do not com they do not compartmentalize your foolishness by yourself. They include us all. Okay? So listen. I told my sons and daughters, and I'm telling those who follow my ministry that we do not support Jamila Gooden at all. I told them if they're following her to unfollow her because anytime we open our mouth and we speak, depending on where we are, it, it, the spirit of how or what's on it is coming out of our mouth. The scripture says it is not what goes in your mouth that defiles you. It's what comes out of your mouth that defiles you. Okay. The pulpit is never a place to use profane language. The Bible says you should not, you should shun profane babblings. Okay. The Bible says our words should be seasoned with grace. This is why I personally, if I got something on me that I can't get off, I don't preach. Ask my sons and daughters. There have been several times. I didn't say one time. I said several times. When I've had to say, son, you preach today because I can't. Daughter, you are preaching today because I can't. Because first of all, I fear God, number one. I fear God. Number two, I love my people. So I don't want to do anything. First of all, when you are a leader in the Lord's church. Anything that you do if it causes somebody to err in the faith, God going to get you. And I'm telling you now, there is never an excuse. Never, 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 ever to curse in the pulpit. There is never an excuse to communicate threats from the pulpit. There is never an excuse to try to belittle another person in the body of Christ. Today, I'm addressing error. As an apostle in the Lord's church, that was erroneous. Period. Number two, it was also heresy. Because, why is it heresy, apostle? Because there are several, several passages of scripture where there was a prophetic word given to somebody that was married that excluded the spouse. Let's go to Mary, Jesus' mama. Uh, the word was not for Mary and Joseph. It was for Mary. All right. Let's go to Abraham. The word, Lord help God, the word was given to Abraham. Sarah was, was eavesdropping. Y'all not talking. The promise was given to Abraham. And Sarah was eavesdropping. Okay. Listen. At the, the word was given to Adam. Eve was nowhere around. So there was a word for the man that did not include the wife. That's why it's heresy. And heresy is anything that twists scripture or twists the implication according to God's word. God is sovereign, okay? If he want to prophesy to Travis Scott and Lindsay, he ain't got to run about Alicia F. Lindsay. If God want to prophesy to Alicia F. Lindsay, he ain't got to run about Travis Scott and Lindsay. He's sovereign, okay? 
David <laughs> was given instructions without his wife. And because the wife did not understand, she said, you look like a fool out here. That's why God wasn't talking to her. See, y'all listen. <laughs> Sarah laughed at the prophecy. And then she told Ab Abraham to do something other than what God said. Listen. Listen to me. Women in ministry. We are emotional by nature. That is straight truth. Women are emotional. And that's the reason why men don't want to sit in the pulpit. That's why they don't want to sit in leadership. Because they think we are too emotional. There is a remnant of us females in leadership that know how to carry themselves in public. Know how to carry themselves in the marketplace. How to carry ourselves in ministry. Okay? We should have some decorum about ourselves. And first of all, the Holy Ghost. I don't care what you say. If you got the real Holy Ghost, it will constrain this flesh. Now, if you choose to dismiss the Holy Spirit and act a fool anyway, then you're in open rebellion. Period. The Holy Ghost is a gentleman. Why are we acting gangster in the pulpit? Whatever difference you got with somebody, you go to them and you deal with that. You do not spew venom across the pulpit. We don't do that. We don't do that. That's not becoming of a woman of the cloth. My mother, my biological mother is a pastor's wife. She's been a pastor's wife for almost 48 years. There have been women that have tried to throw themselves at my father. There have been women who tried to do whatever. But, but Christine, Mother Christine Anderson Faust has never opened her mouth or lifted her finger because my daddy checked them. And the only reason why my mother knew is because my father told her. Okay. 48 years, she's never gotten out of character. She's never tried to run his church, tell him what to do. She has been a supportive and a very active wife in his ministry. Okay? Let me help y'all. I'm married to a fine man. You can prophesy to him, honey. You can bake him a cake and a pie. But I guarantee you, he ain't leaving his fat baby, okay? He not going nowhere. And guess what? If he decides to go... That's his loss. I'm not going to act no fool. I'm not getting out of character. And I'm sure not coming for the female he may squander off with. But because I handle my business and I love God and my, and my priorities are right, I'm not worried about that over there. So ladies in ministry, hear me, hear me well. Don't you ever, if God ever bless you to have a platform, don't you embarrass us and embarrass God. You carry yourself like a lady. You preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and sit your hips down. If God wants you to prophesy to people, you prophesy to them. If they don't receive it, that's none of your business. But don't you dare embarrass God, the church, or us. Do you hear me? If you got an attitude, then you sit down to that attitude leave you. Send somebody else in your place. Don't grab no microphone and act no fool in these streets. Women of God, we can have power, but we can also be poised and we can be ladylike. We can be feminine. Period. My mother and my grandmother and my aunties have always told me, always be a lady. Always. Stop wasting time in the pulpit trying to prove you belong there baby they invited you they invited you to come preach just preach and sit down i got people who call me auntie and call me play mama i told them why would you follow that type of leadership kaylin kaylin jones is one of the, he always called me auntie okay i and he put he, he reposted what this woman said i went right under and i said i am very saddened that you would follow this type of leadership. You were raised better. And I meant what I said. 
We don't follow that type of leadership. It is never okay. And then after the moment has passed and church is over, you're sitting up here say, oh, I said what I said. I sure did. Okay, well, guess what? Now that we know you wasn't having a moment of insanity and that you just was not having a, a, a weak moment, we know this is your lifestyle. Now we mark you and have no fellowship. That's what we do. Because you made it very, very clear that this is, this is your lifestyle. So we don't support that. That's not kingdom. That's not God. So we're going to mark you and have no fellowship with you. And we're going to pray that the Holy Spirit will come into your heart and convict you and humble your flesh. That, that was straight up flesh on display. God was not glorified. The people were not edified. What it did was co-sign foolishness. You cannot be a worldly Christian. Either you are a disciple or you're in the world. There are no gray areas. It's black and white, saved and unsaved, holy and unholy, righteous and unrighteous. Nope. So as women of God, we have a hard task trying to be accepted amongst our male counterparts, our male colleagues. And this is why we have got to make sure we don't embarrass the entire church by acting a fool. God is not pleased with that. We do not curse in the pulpit. We don't communicate threats from the pulpit. No, 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 no. Our battles are spiritual battles. We don't fight in our flesh. We don't do that. It's out of order. And I got some people that I love that follow. I told them, get away from there. Yes, I did. I did. I text some people today. I said, listen, you need to get away from that ministry so you don't take your witness. I sure did. Because we're supposed to be contenders of the faith. We're supposed to protect those who, don't, who, may, who may not know better. If you're connected, if you call me auntie, my Alicia, my apostle, whatever. Honey, I'm going to tell you. Big sis, little sis, I'm going to tell you. Don't follow that. That's what we do in the body of Christ. We, we, we shun the very appearance of evil. We don't have no parts of that. The scriptures that Jesus told the people, he said, ignore them for they are blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in a ditch. That's what, that's what Jesus said. He said, ignore, I don't care if they are offended. He said, ignore them. Women, hear me and hear me well. We are still the weaker vessel. Hear me and hear me well. We still must walk in submission. Hear me and hear me well. We are still subject to the Holy Spirit. Our titles do not give us entitlements. It marks us to say, hey, we are set apart for the master's use. It is a privilege to be used by God. And all you young women that's following that, hear me unfollow because that's going to lead you to destruction that's not god it's not acceptable it's not acceptable and it's definitely not biblical it is not i'm addressing error that was error mm -mm. we don't communicate threats from the pulpit we don't cuss in the pulpit we don't do that we preach the gospel and so you mean to tell me somebody came to that church yesterday looking for God and found flesh. That grieves my spirit. It's people dying left and right. People need a word from God. People need deliverance. They need to be saved, born again. They need some hope. Not heresy. Y'all need to stop this. We won. Listen, when it comes to marriage, marriage, listen, the two the two become one flesh, flesh, flesh. The two become one flesh. The two become one flesh. That's it. You can become one flesh and still have two different spiritual mandates. 
and y'all trying to lump everybody together, that ain't even God's plan. He never told Sarah she would be the mother of many nations. He told Abraham, you'll be the father of many nations. Y'all not talking to me today. Lord, help us, God. Sarah ain't called the mother of many nations. He told Abraham, you're the father. You shall be the father of many nations. The only reason Sarah was addressed because she laughed at it. <laughs> God help us. So listen to me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father except through him. And Jesus Christ did not die on the cross so we could cuss, communicate threats, and, misread, and, mis, and misappropriate his word. That's not what he died for. That's not his example. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. That's what he said. But he told us to stand against heretical teaching. He told us to contend for the faith and stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that was not the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that was not a representation of Jesus Christ at all. That was not it. And I will tell you, you need to unfollow until they repent. Because if you're following that, you're going to err just like that. And this is why people need a covering. This is why people need to be trained. This is why people need to be discipled. Because when you're not discipled, you make a mess. I'm going to say it again. We got too many people that have leadership roles that have not been discipled. A disciple is a disciplined follower. And you can't tell me you got the Holy Ghost and you cut somebody out and not, be, not be convicted. Mm -mm. No, that's error. Don't follow error. Follow people as they follow Christ. That is not what Jesus would do. That is not what Jesus would do. Jesus would never waste time that could bring somebody to the Father, to reconcile somebody to the Father, to address a personal issue. He would never do that. He didn't do that. So women, let us behave ourselves. Women, let us understand that we do have a part in the kingdom but when god gives you an opportunity to advance the kingdom on a platform don't mess it up with your flesh please don't don't embarrass god don't embarrass the church and don't embarrass us make it easier for women coming behind you don't make it hard don't make it hard for those coming behind you we're trying to help you. But you ain't got no covering. This is what happens. So women in ministry that are on the wall and know how to carry out. So we need to pray. We need to really keep women covered in prayer. And when you see your sister about to slip, hey, your slip is hanging. Come on, pull yourself together. And several people have tried to go to her and say, hey, that's not cool. And she let it be known. Y'all will be all right. So they don't need to be talking to her. Ain't no need. But I'm going to address the error. And that's not how we do stuff. That's not how we do stuff. That's not how we do stuff. That's not how, that's not how we handle conflict. And that's not what the pulpit is for. The pulpit is to pull somebody out of the pit. Not throw down. No, we don't do that. All right. So women, let us be feminine and anointed. You don't have to be charismatic. You don't have to be animated. Just be authentically who you are. But when, when I say authentically who you are in Christ, not in your flesh. Okay. Flesh should never be on display and call that God or call it kingdom or call it church. No, that's not that's not what we do. So I wanted to say that that's my piece on it.
I'm praying for her. I've already prayed for her before I even did this live. I prayed for her because she's hanging down a dangerous road, whether she wants to realize it or not. And some of y'all don't understand the danger of social media. When y'all be spazzing out like that and just going off and cussing and ranting and raving and stuff like that, it's hard to come back from that. And you always going to have some people that want to do what you did to follow you. Yeah, you have people who like to cuss and drink and get high and fight. They'll follow you, but you won't make Maximum Kingdom impact. And if you got too many yes people around you, leader, women in leadership, if you got too many um, uh, yes people around you, you already set up for failure. You got to have somebody say, hey, you are acting a fool. Sit down somewhere. Me personally, if I was on the media team, I would have cut the live feed. I would just cut it. I would have just cut the feed. Because that, that's what that, that just made the whole church look bad. Again, once again, we're back in the media for negativity. You need somebody to say, hey, sit down, get yourself together, calm down, take a breather. I had saw some on social media the other, other day, and it had me, I was stirred up. I, I was stirred up. But my friend, my sister, Irma Barry Scott said, go live tomorrow. That's what she said to me. She said, go live tomorrow. And you know what? By the time tomorrow came, I ain't even want to talk about it no more. You need somebody in your life to tell you, hey, don't you might you might not want to do that right now. Because you she said you really fired up about that. Do it tomorrow. That's what she told me. And when the next day came, I didn't feel like talking about it. That's why you got to be careful about your feelings. Your feelings ain't facts. I say that all the time. Feelings ain't facts. And you can be hot right now. And finally, you, 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 you all right. So you, you, need to, you, 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 need to, you need to, you need to know how to handle your anger. That's my prayer, um, Sharon Brooks, that she will repent to God and apologize to that prophet of God and her church. Because she owes everybody an apology. That's my prayer, that she repents to God and apologize to those people. Because repentance belongs exclusively to God. But apologies belong to people. And sometimes females, y'all got to stop thinking because you repented to God, you don't owe people no apology. No, you got to apologize to people. You just can't say, well, I repented to God. That's No, 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 no. You still got to get it right with your sister, your brother. Stop hiding behind what I talk to God. You can't keep hiding behind that. When you, when you, when you mishandle people and you offend people, you need to go to them and apologize. I got people who did me wrong or, or stopped talking to me for no reason. And now they want to come back in my life. You know what I'm telling them? I don't like the way you handled me. Oh, how you doing? I miss you. You good? Yeah, but I don't like the way you handled me last time I talked to you. What do you mean? And I go down the line. Because I need you to understand you're going to have to be accountable for what you did. You're not going to use my salvation and my good heart against me to slide back without an apology. No, we're not doing that. No, you need to make this right over here. Since the Holy Ghost didn't tell you, I'm going to tell you. I've had six people in the last three weeks try to slide back in my life like they ain't do nothing wrong to me. And it's not holding a grudge. It's called accountability. Oh, I'm fine, but you need to rectify this over here before we go any further. Because if you can't rectify this right here, that means you still got the same agenda to use me, the same agenda to try to get something out of me, and you don't have good intentions. Because people will, will, will come to you and take something from you and get missing for six months or to a year and come back around and act like, oh, how you doing? Oh, by the way, can you help me? That is a pattern. You better pay attention. We got to know how to apologize to people. So, I wanted to say that I support women in ministry, but I don't support foolishness. I don't support cursing in the pulpit. I don't support uh, communicating threats. We don't do that. That's not what disciples of Jesus Christ do. That's not what ministers of the gospel do. We don't do that. That's not how we behave ourselves. There ain't no other type. It's only one type. It's called holy. It's one type called sanctified. It's one type called 
us. We got self-control, your temper, the fruit of the spirit. It, what you mean another type? No, it's only one type. It's one type. Jesus. Him crucified and rose again. It's one type. I'm another type of an apostle. No, it's only one type. Of, ain't, ain't no other type. It's only one. Anything other than that is, is, is of the devil. Anything other than that is not holy. It's not righteous. It's only one type. All right, I love y'all to life. Continue to pray. Continue to, to be holy. Okay? I'm telling you. Oh, Lord. We, we got to do better. We have to do better. That embarrassed every female in ministry. And I made that known. That was an embarrassment. That was not God. We don't carry ourselves that way. And that's the reason why men don't want us in their pulpits. They don't want us in leadership. We don't know how to carry us. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to, we don't know how to act. Mm -mm. It ain't God. It's not God at all. And so I've told my sons and daughters, I've told my fellowship, if you're following her, unfollow her immediately. And I meant it. Because I don't want that venom in your spirit. I don't want you to think that that's okay because it's not okay. And it ain't the first time it's happened. This is a repeat offense. This has happened again. So this is lifestyle. This ain't mistake. This is lifestyle. The word tells us if any brother among you walks disorderly, mark them and have no fellowship with them. It says, but do not... Count them as an enemy, but admonish them as a brother. And the word admonish means to express disapproval. That's what it means. You're not an enemy. You're supposed to be one of ours, one of ours. So I'm admonishing you. I'm expressing disapproval of your behavior and how you carried yourself in the pulpit on yesterday. That was not God. That was not holy. And it was not classy. It wasn't ladylike. And it just wasn't right. And if they don't want to hear you. It says mark them. And have no fellowship. That's what the scripture says. Alright. Love y'all to life. Have a great Monday. Be prayerful. Be careful out here in these church streets. Okay. Alright. Bye bye. My heart's desire is that this content was a blessing to you. If it was please be a blessing to me. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you join our Facebook group, Woman to Woman with Lady Ayesha Fisher. Love you.